In this tutorial, we're going to talk a bit about gradients. Now, I want to go ahead and take the rectangle tool and draw a random rectangle on my artboard. And to find gradients, I need to go either under Window, Gradients is right here, um, or I can look for gradients within the panel box. So the this thing on the left is the toolbox and this thing on the right is the panel box. Now, um, the gradient panel is right here. As you see, there's a, you know, the icon is made up of a gradient color going from left to right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, just so you know, um, in case your panels got um, uh, disorganized, sometimes we tend to uh, hold one of the panels, drag it out, and, you know, they lose... Um, their original location and things like that. You can just go back to Window and then Workspace, Reset Essentials and everything goes back to the way it was originally organized and you can find your panels. Okay, so now I'm looking for the gradient panel. It's right here and I'm going to go ahead and click on it and I can see that I have already this default gradient of uh, black and white. So with my rectangle selected I can click on that and I'll get this white to black uh, gradient. Now, um, I have options of type. So this type that I currently have is a linear gradient. I have another option, which is a radial gradient. So if I click on that, I will have the gradient going um, in, a ra in, you know, in a circle. So it depends on what you want. For this exercise, let me go back to linear gradient and show you um, how we can work with the slider here. Now, let's say I want to, uh, you know, add some more white here. I will just click on this little white icon and drag it out. Okay, you see that I added more white, but obviously the more you bring one of the colors closer to the other, you will start seeing a sharp edge like I'm showing you here um, and so you have to be careful if this is not the effect you want you, you may want to space them out a bit more the other thing you can do is play with this little um, rhombus here which um, you know uh, puts the the values of the color in certain places you have to play with it to understand what it does exactly the further I'm taking this little rhombus towards the black, the less black I have. But the black is being concentrated in a vertical, uh, you know, uh, thick line here at the end. So if you play with this, you'll get a feel of how this works. Now let's go ahead and add color if you want. Perhaps change the black and white to something else. Um, the way to do that is go to the colors panel. But here we find a problem because uh, we need to drag colors from the color panel to the gradient. But the minute we clicked on the color panel, the gradient panel closed. And the same thing if we click on the gradient panel. So this is when it becomes necessary to have some of these panels detached or independent from their parent panel. In this case, I want to just um, open the color panel and then drag it out and then close color guide which belongs under that initial parent and put the color panel here and then I want to go into this little section on the right um, and then click on that and choose CMYK okay so this panel uh, is now independent from the panel box so it won't close when I open the gradient panel anymore so now the next thing I want to do is add my options to the color panel which means um, see the individual cyan magenta yellow and black colors for me to choose exactly the values that I want for my color so you can go ahead and do that by clicking on this top right corner uh, where there's this little uh, arrow icon and then choose show options and that will open the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Now, you can also just pick a color from here by just clicking on the eyedropper tool. That's fine, too. So I have my rectangle selected, and if you look at the gradient panel, 
you see that I have these two little icons again that we mentioned earlier, the white one and the black one. Uh, these icons are made up of a small square uh, filled with that color and then on top of the square there's a small vertical uh, or pointed upwards uh, triangle. When that triangle is black, as you can see here, it, for the white, it means that um, I'm ready and able to replace the white with something else. It, it means that that color or the white part of the gradient is selected. So let me go ahead and show you what happens when I click on this little black one the triangle of the black box becomes now selected because it becomes a black triangle as opposed to an empty transparent triangle. So that's how you know which color is selected. Now going back to um, my cyan, magenta, yellow and black, um, again I have my white selected right here. So now let's say I wish to have a blue gradient going to black. I just need to make sure that I have my white color selected and um, the basically w when I selected the little triangle on top will be black. So then I click on the blue and drag it, you know, as far as I want. And then my white becomes replaced by the blue. Same thing, maybe I want to replace this black with another color. So I'll go ahead and click on that and go back to the CMYK choose let's say what do I want here a magenta I'll put the magenta up and drag perhaps this black down to get this blue to magenta effect so this is how gradients work now a very powerful thing here um, is the following let's say you want to introduce another color here in the center what you would do is just um, obviously I'm using the selection tool I just hover over this part and when I hover over it you can see that there's a plus sign, a small plus sign next to the tool, next to the selection tool, which means that if I click it's going to add um, a middle color for me. So basically the gradient from blue to uh, magenta is this nice purple and um, I'm now able to change it to any color that I like. So Obviously, you have to see that the triangle on top of the purple box, the small purple box, is black, which means it is selected. And then again, I can go to my CMYK and maybe change it to yellow if that's what I wish to do.